Good morning. This is Bob and Kitty Belindis of Santa Clarita, California. Today we're going to show you how we fertilize our 350 roses. That's a pretty large residential garden. But our method could work with people who have 50 roses or more. Now we used to feed our roses with either dry granular or if we wanted to feed a liquid like fish emulsion or miracle Grow or something, we would have to carry around this large bucket here and feed each one one by one. Well, that got to be a lot of work because uh, it would just be very backbreaking to carry them around to each bush and very expensive too and time consuming. So our method that we're going to show you today with the big barrel and a submersible pump we're going to show you how we feed them all. Bob is going to show you what this pump looks like that you can get at any um, hardware store or home improvement store. So it's a, a submersible pump. Now some of the things that we put in there you wouldn't put a granular in there but we have water soluble fertilizers something like this one here and we use fish emulsion and iron chelate and super thrive and dr earth and um, liquid kelp different products like that is what you would do because you buy them and concentrate and mix them up in the, the big barrel now normally you would put like a tablespoon per gallon of water for each bush and maybe to use two buckets for the large bushes. Our bushes, our hybrid teas are very tall right now. So, but with our method, you get a big barrel. This one happens to be about 60 gallons. And you can uh, buy those at a feed store, someplace like that. And, or you could use just a 32 gallon tr uh, trash barrel or something, whatever you like. But for our method, since we have so many roses, we use this large one and we have to fill it up four times to feed all of our roses. And this takes about an hour and a half. So we'll show you what we do. So what we do is then we, for this 60 gallon barrel, we would use um, about a, a four cup of um, this water soluble fertilizer. And then what we do so that it will um, so that it will um, disintegrate is that we'll take a bucket we'll take a bucket and we'll put that in there with hot water and let it dissolve first we dissolve it in there before we pour it into the large 60 gallon that way we know that all the water soluble fertilizer is dissolved and it doesn't clog up the uh, pump now we also first we need a hose that's going to be we fill up this this big barrel and once we fill it up and have put our, our fertilizer in there again it it uh, translates about one gallon one tablespoon of fertilizer per gallon so then once we fill it up and we're ready to go then what we do is we have the we have a water wand on the end of the hose so that way we can disperse this fertilizer to each of our bushes. Now Bob is going to turn, he's going to plug in the pump because it doesn't really have an on off switch and it's going to get going and what he will do is that as he walks along to each bush he will count, he will count to about oh 15, 15 seconds or 20 seconds for each large bush and to about eight seconds for the small miniature roses in pots. So then he will, he's waiting for it to get primed right now to start coming out. Sometimes it takes a few seconds. And once it gets going, do you have it going, Bob? We also have an on off switch at the end of the water wand see he can turn this on there it is now it's coming out finally it's coming out but he can turn that switch on and off if he needs to stop you want to show that Bob yeah so he turns it off if he needs to stop okay turn it back on 
Now he's going to go over to one of the bushes and just count. One, two, three, four, five, and so on. He'll count up to 15 or whatever he think each bush needs. And then he'll walk, he'll go to the next bush. Now if he needs to stop, he'll turn it off. Okay, let's turn it off. And let's go over and show how we do the, the potted miniature roses on the rack over there. Okay, so he's then going to go down to the potted roses and just count to about five and move on, move on to the next, and move on to the next. And that's about it. He just goes around the whole garden, and what will happen is he has to move this barrel. Um, since our garden is large with 350 roses, we usually start in the front yard, and then we go to the back, and we, we probably have to move a barrel several times but for a smaller garden if you only have 50 or 100 you could place this big barrel into whatever central location you like now he's unplugged the, the pump you don't want to keep it running when you run out so that's uh, pretty much it do you have any other suggestions Bob no, no. none that he can think of I'm usually the one that does this feeding he helps me get it set up but he's the star of the show today <laughs> And uh, I also like to use gloves all the time because I don't like to get my hands stained with fish emulsion or the blue water soluble or any of those. And these are some of my favorite products. For the, the blue water soluble, you can use uh, Grow More or Miracle Grow or any brand that you can uh, get a hold of. Peters, there's a lot of them out there. And uh, we buy them in large quantities, large 20 pound bags, some of them because it's more cost effective. So during show season or blooming season, we do a liquid feed to all of our roses um, once a week. But now during the summer, we only do it occasionally. And then we will also put down dry organics in between. But we like to blend a lot of organic material with the other water solubles. And so our roses, as you can see, are pretty well fed. They're healthy. And uh, this is some of our garden here. And we also have a token tomato that's doing very well. And we pretty much feed it what the roses get. And here's some more of our garden. This is um, June 27th. And it's been pretty hot this week. But they're all happy. So that's pretty much what we do. And we do have an article on this method on our website at www.scvrs.homestead.com if you want to read more in detail. Um, otherwise, just enjoy the video, and we hope you learned something from it. Thank you.